speaking, do you believe the devil exists? I do believe he exists, but not to be feared. Not to be feared? Yes. He can he be conquered? Yes, not to be feared. Um, I speak as an African woman, mm -hmm. as a black woman. Obviously, I'm British now. But um, I will share from personal experience why I do believe it does. It does exist, but can, not to can, be feared. Can the devil possess people? Yes, I personally have cast out demons out of people um, that were possessed by the devil. I have done that. How did you know they were demons? Very simple. How can you justify a very intelligent man, and I mean very intelligent, a very successful businessman that had gone through depression for years and been to the doctor? He knows there was something wrong with him. The doctors couldn't diagnose what was wrong with him. Sitting down with this person through counseling, uh, you realize there was something really at work in his life because he really could These have mental health issues, aren't they? No, not necessarily that. Um, it was not mental health. It was something that he knew was wrong inside of him, in his stomach okay. area. I, I do, have you heard voices and strange... <laughs> yes, yeah, sometimes you get people speaking in a, a very funny, a different language, you know, and uh, they, their voice change. Can you know. children be possessed by the... This and Father Christmas of the Tooth Fairy. Yeah, yeah. Let's look for the evidence. When we want to know the Hitler, facts, Hitler, we look, we look, we look for evidence that the devil or anybody else exists. You, where is the empirical evidence that the devil exists? It, it's a superstition, it's a, it's a fanciful religious idea you, you, which has no basis in no, fact, no, 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 not a shred of evidence. If someone produced the evidence, I'd be quite happy to believe it, but the there Holocaust. is no evidence. The evidence is the Holocaust. How else can you explain the Holocaust except by saying there is a devil, a personal being, mm. who actually designed to get rid of those six million people. There was no other... Hitler didn't himself. Okay, there was, was no devil. other satisfactory explanation Professor for Professor Richard it. Dawkins, <laughs> how else do you explain the Holocaust? <laughs> I'm just astonished that anybody in the 21st century can, can use this kind of medieval, pre-medieval oh, no, superstition. Yeah. Well, Look, nonsense. Hitler was a very <laughs> bad man. Hitler was a loony. Um, and the, the, the real mystery about Hitler is how did he come to power? How do we let the Social e people... economic circumstances. There are, plenty of, there are plenty of people like Hitler who are extremely bad, extremely wicked, extremely mad. But he Mostly didn't kill they don't six million come people. to power. His system killed six million people. In other words, the devil behind him That's killed right. six million people. He didn't he he did. I don't think he killed one of them himself personally. I know. Why, why would you bring just in some a supernatural of force when what, what we're dealing with is, a, is, a, is an evil man with a, com with a country in great economic deprivation, a country that was felt very bitter about losing the First World War. There are all kinds of complicated historical reasons. But, but, but they but, aren't, but, but, they but, aren't but, 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 this, was, this was an evil unparalleled and a, and a descent into barbarism uh, you know, from, arguably, a from a civilized society. From a civilized society, society, which is the point that Arlen Craig makes there, unparalleled in history. Would you explain it by diabolic means? I think if you were going to suggest that it was out of Hitler's hands insofar as it having been the devil per se, then to all intent and purposes, from a religious perspective, you couldn't hold him accountable. Right. Um, I think you have to reflect on the fact that from a Jewish perspective, there is good in the world and there is evil that exists. There the has devil exists. The devil... <laughs> The only time the devil appears in Jewish folklore is when he turned up in a synagogue one Saturday, scared everybody out except for the elderly rabbi, and when he asked him, why aren't you scared, he said, because I've been married to your sister for 42 years. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the concept of evil, per se, does exist in order for there to be the balance and free choice in the world. In other words, a world that enables a man to make himself into, say, a Moses, has to also enable a man to turn himself into a Hitler. Does anyone believe that the devil can actually appear in human form? Does anyone... Um, factually, what I know and have seen, I haven't seen him. Because some people say Richard Dawkins is the devil. I don't want to... <laughs> do, I mean, do, those well, people, those people every man is created in the image some of Some evangelical Christians say that. Do you, do, do you exclude the possibility? That he's the devil? Mm. Um, he doesn't... I don't know what a devil looks like, but obviously, um, <laughs> you know, if that's him, then I, I want to have a word with him. But, but, you know. but let, me, let me answer the question, hold on.